good morning to the, good morning to the coaches it's for you from power 987 um maybe just to any of the coaches uh yesterday we saw a glimpse of a first group of fans coming back to stadiums and maybe in terms of what you viewed yesterday in that match does this sort of bring a sort of light to what has been hope to many um in terms of seeing fans returning even to the PSL are you sort of seeing what is a light to the end of what has been a long tunnel um, when it comes to sort of probing the way back to having fans at uh, stadiums for PSL matches? Okay, we'll, I'll come back to your question. Unfortunately, we can't start you know, the press conference with that question. I'll come back to it. Uh, I'll, I'll ask the, the, the opening one. Uh, coaches, congratulations uh, on winning this award. Uh, if we you know, I'll start with Coach Rolani, uh, congratulations, obviously, your thoughts on winning the award and um, yeah, what you know, what contributed to you know, to this award? I mean, five matches um, unbeaten. Uh, did you concede any goal in those five matches in in the period that you know that was judged? Uh, I think it's four four victories and only one uh, one draw. Yeah, uh, thanks, Patio. Um, is it still on? Yeah. Good morning to, to members of the media. Um, thanks thanks for, for, for having us. Yeah, but first let's start off by congratulating uh, Amelody Sundowns um, in its entirety, uh, the football club uh, which we represent. Uh, congratulations to my colleague, Coach Mandela, for, for winning the award. So, congratulations to the rest of the technical staff who have made uh, an immense contribution towards uh, the good results so far. Uh, congratulations to the president, the chairman, the board, uh, senior management uh, of Mamelodi Sundowns Football Club uh, for their contribution, their support, uh, their sleepless nights in ensuring that uh, we've got all the resources and, and all the possibilities to, to navigate a very difficult uh, season so far. And uh, congratulations first to Peter Shalili also for his award. But of course, without Peter, without the teammates, Peter doesn't win the award. Without the, his teammates, we don't win the award. So congratulations to, to, to this fantastic group of players that every single day work towards winning. Uh, they win every single day so that we can win on match day. So congratulations to them and uh, all these awards, these individual awards within a collective sport like football, uh, only go towards representing uh, everybody that is involved in terms of uh, supporting us and, and ensuring that we get the results. Yeah, and I think that's, that's the answer. Yeah. What, what is it about the collective effort and uh, congratulations to everybody involved? Thank you. Uh, Coach Manova, maybe, you know, Kind of similar question, you know, but uh, maybe looking at you know the rest of the season and the targets. You know, we started very well, like I said, um, you know, very good record. Uh, but you know, what's next uh, for for the club? Uh, good morning to all the members of the media. Uh, I would not have much to say to the people who finished it. <laughs> put it in the best possible way that ever. Uh, I would like to congratulate you first as my colleague, congratulate the coaching staff of Mamelo de Sunrise, the conditioning department of Mamelo de Sunrise, uh, the medical staff uh, for the hard work and the security and the future that all the players are available, uh, the media department, for keeping us in good shape and understanding what is expected of us. Uh, the management of the club for making sure that everything goes according to plan. The board, uh, the president and the chairman for making it possible for us to get all the resources that we have to be able to achieve those hours. Uh, there are so many other departments in the club that uh, contribute immensely to us these outcomes. Uh, one must not even forget the kid department because those are the people that dress us up every day. 
and the training session, we give us the confidence, but because when you're holding crisscrossed stuff or creased stuff, you, you, you don't feel as confident, but when we make sure that we are always looking good, naturally that brings positivity within the training session, which culminates into a match, which culminates into a number of matches per month. Uh, the media department or should be the marketing side and making sure that we are all in check. Uh, in simple terms, I'm trying to summarize uh, what Coach Lani also said, that we are just the recipients of the awards. The truth of the matter is, this is a collective effort. We, without everybody else that is surrounding us, uh, it would not be the same. Uh, a big club like Namibia Designers uh, cannot tick just because of one person. It ticks because of a collective group of people that are working towards one goal. And that one goal, like Bush like said, is to win every, every training session, is to win every friendly match, is to win every match that we play, and is to consistently fight for that space. And um, the attitude and the atmosphere that prevails within the team uh, concurs with us that it's possible. Thank you very much, Coach. Uh, I'll now take questions from the floor. The first question will go to Coach Manuaba. So, uh, Sobri, go ahead. Uh, th thank you, Fatu. Thank you. Good morning, Coach, coaches, and good morning to the colleagues. Uh, coaches, I would like to ask you this question, and uh, I would like to appeal to you that uh, See it in a very positive light. Don't think, don't read any sinister motive to this question. In fact, no. it will give you the opportunity to quell the myth out there. No. We know you guys being the three musketeers. No. Can one read anything seeing that one no. musketeer is not there? No. Oh. No. I don't know whether you got the questions. Uh, we we yeah, know I think you. Maybe we can just be direct. What, 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 what is your question, uh, Mr. The question Coach? is, we know them to be three coaches or three technical staff personnel, but we see the two of them today. So there's anything that we read or there is the other, other coach is not available? Yeah, uh, Sobri, I think, I think even if you can ask your colleagues in the media, that I think the club has you know, initially issued a statement on that on appointment. On that one. Okay. All right. All of Thank you very much. Yeah, I don't think we need to address it here because it's I'm sure it has been addressed in the past. But you can always read your question to, to Shupi at Sundowns if you know, you're not you're not sure. Uh, All right. Next question, Karawa. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you very much, Fatu. Uh, congratulations to the two coaches. And uh, Coach Mangob, on, on a lighter note on the call that you had, uh, are you concluding another deal for a plan in January? And uh, either coaches can answer this one. Pule uh, Maraisani, how close is from starting as well as in Gubeni? Thank you. The first question, uh, just repeat it. You said it's for Coach Mangob. No, no, I was just saying that he was on a call where we started. Is he concluding another deal for January? And uh, the second one, Pulim Maraisa and as well as Mubini. How close are they from starting? Also, the first one was just a light-hearted one. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, okay. Uh, maybe, Coach, you can take the Pulim Maraisa as well as Swiss uh, Mubini. How far are they from playing? I will, I will try to be as objective as I can in answering that question. I think Pule, Marisane, and Shiso are as close as any other player that has, has not played for some of this, this year because they are training very well, they are looking good, they are keeping their best shot. And we don't only have them, so I would not want to polarize just the two of them because there are other players that I believe you know, have, have worked very hard. They also maybe deserve a mention uh, that where are they uh, because their contribution has been immense. Uh, just a few games ago, Villa had not played a match for us and he has played in Italian. So we've got a lot of players that we would like to give an opportunity and they are all close to play. At Sundowns, anybody can get a chance to play. And the good thing is that physically they are all looking good for match. Thank you, Coach. Uh, next question, Tiseto. Uh, you can direct that one to Coach Mulan. 
Yes, thank you very much, uh, Fatu. Uh, good morning to everyone. Good morning to the coaches. Uh, Coach Rulani, I think two or three weeks back, uh, I think you told us, uh, of course, you are having this match. So, of course, you are having this match uh, on uh, this weekend. And the last time uh, I remember you saying that uh, you at Sundowns, uh, you know, you have a team of, you know, people behind the scenes who, who go out and check and profile your Champions League opponents and, and, and come back to you so that you guys can prepare to the team. I mean, just ahead of your match at the weekend, uh, what are your uh, people behind the scenes telling you about the venue, the traveling and the opponents? Thank you. Yeah, thanks, this is all. Yeah, of course, we already have, uh, in this moment, we have uh, Gulam, uh, who leads, uh, yeah, Gulam who leads the traveling uh, uh, party in, in relation to being the advanced uh, group. Uh, him and Kalida in that space, they, they specialize in, in that African sojourn for us. Um, it is a country that we've got experience of going to, even though it's a different city this time. Uh, but uh, we are very familiar with uh, uh, the terrain. We're very familiar with the environment, the weather. And, uh, and maybe that is why we, in a certain way, manipulated what would be a normal program for us. Uh, we would normally travel three or four days prior to the match, but we live a little bit closer to the match because of uh, some of the situations we know we would face in, in relation to the lack of proper training facilities. And so the feeling is, is maybe to... to to complete our preparations here, move towards a match day minus one work where we acclimatize ourselves to, to, to the stadium, get a feel for, for the ambience, uh, get a feel for the pitch. But at the same time, uh, we've already started working on, on the opposition. Uh, we know uh, they play a 4 2 3 1. We know uh, uh, the profile of uh, the opponents uh, in the first leg. We know the profile of the opponents and the personality that they have. Uh, and they had particularly in the second leg of the qualifiers, which is the round just before this one. And uh, in both matches, uh, the system was more or less the same and, and maybe in certain moments also posing different problems uh, with, with regards to how they attack uh, direct uh, with very aggressive wing play, very aggressive uh, overlapping movements of the fullbacks, and and uh, quick, very very quick strikers. You know, so yeah, the work has been done. We've got to be wary of the transitions. We've got to be wary of the set pieces. But uh, good, we still have a couple more days to to work on on some of these strategies and these schemes, and and make sure that uh, we are as best prepared as possible. We've got a responsibility, but just. Uh, to my melody sundowns, but also to, to the country as a whole. And when you have a responsibility, you also to be diligent and make sure that uh, you prepare and, and, and work very, very hard, invest a lot of sleepless hours to, to, to ensure that the team is, is in the right space and, and ready to win the football match. All right, thank you, Coach. Uh, I'll take the next question, Tepan, uh, before Coach Manova. And hopefully it will be strictly DSTV Prem. Uh, hi, Coach uh, Tapang from Sokala Duma. Um, I, I just wanted to check how Musa Lebusa is doing. Um, is he back um, when you guys take on your next challenge? Because um, I think the last time he was not available, if I'm not mistaken. And with a guy like Lebo Maboy, um, being out for so long, has he been able to be registered for Champions League? <clears throat> I would prefer not to answer the, the one for the because it's in charge. That's the worst news. Let's talk about the uh, Musa is back. Uh, he's training very well. He could have even been within the final squad. And uh, he been given a chance to, to be in camp. He was back at that time already. So we are confident that he's going to help us uh, in the next coming matches. 
because uh, it's looking good physically, has not lost anything. And we are happy to have him back. And it's for the label question, that's why I'm trying to dismiss it because I think it's, it's not, it's not if any news now. We only have one match before the next window of registration, which is this away match and home match. Then after that, when we go to the group, we can register whatever we want to register. So we're only talking about two matches before, before the group stages. So I would prefer not to, to even go to that space of it because we, we won't know if it's still out for the weekend. Thank you, Coach. Uh, Chris Dube. Thanks, Fatu. I hope the audio is right. Uh, just to both coaches, any coach can answer this one. Uh, coaches, how involved uh, are you in the junior setup of the team? Uh, I ask this because when we were at the engine garage, the team that played at that uh, engine uh, knockout uh, played in exactly the similar way as your team plays. And we could also hear the coaches at the bench talk about uh, shout race defense, race defense. Do you, uh, uh, like the two of you, uh, go down or do you have like a coaching clinic for the coaches in your setup? Thanks. We would love to. We would love to, but uh, uh, COVID and uh, the new world order that we are currently under makes it quite difficult uh, to, to be involved in that space. But we, we watch almost all the NPC games. We, we, we get reports about uh, all the activities that uh, happen in, in the youth and with our youth uh, through Coach David, through Sean Bishop. So uh, we are as involved as we possibly can be. Uh, the youth is very important for this club. Uh, the ladies' football team is very important for this club. It's a division that, as a senior team, we, we support. And uh, yeah, um, the good thing is uh, there's, there's this uh, monopoly, if you want to call it, of, of, of a playing style that runs from, from, from the senior team to the youth, into the, the ladies' teams. And, and uh, that is only good for, for Mamelodi Sundowns in the future of this, uh, of this club. Okay, uh, I'm about to close the session now. Uh, but really, if you have the last question, because I'm not getting any of the DSC return questions. Um, yes. Uh, okay, I will first ask the DSTV question, and uh, yeah. Um, <laughs> Double, double barrel question. And unfortunately, uh, it's, it's it's the Champions League week. We can't avoid it. But no, the club will, will, will have another engagement on, on Champions League. I'm sure there will, will be other, there will be other opportunities. But go ahead, please. Okay, correct. Uh, congratulations, coaches. Um, last year, um, you you had set um, a target of bettering your previous um, highest points um, attained in this. At DSTV Premiership, um, given how you've started this season um, compared to previous starts uh, of Sundowns, uh, mm -hmm. do you see it as, as a possibility um, that you can beat, I think, what, was it 71, uh, the last points that you had the last time? Do mm -hmm. um, you think you, you can beat it this season? And also, I'm not sure the, about the proximity of uh, coming from International Week and straight into Kev matches, a lot of traveling, um, how difficult um, are those challenges? It, because next time it could happen that Shalila is not even here, he's in Dakar. And, uh, um, I'm, I'm looking at it, uh, there's a team, uh, I think Orlando Pirates is playing on a Friday. And if you look at moving from International Week and straight to uh, Kev Champions League program. I will, I will take the first one. <laughs> uh, in all the seasons, even prior to the season 2016, when we got 71 points, we always have a, a better target than that. And we have not managed to get what we always wished for. We will keep digging and digging up until maybe at some point we can achieve it because it's possible. Uh, the start of this season is not far away from the start of last season. Uh, we, we, we believe we, we, we've got a chance to improve a little bit in those small margins where we can convert a few draws into wins, 
And if we can just do that, we, we are very close to achieving that. Maybe for the team, three throws uh, would give you an extra six points, and probably that takes you to where you want to be, or even uh, winning winning one more match uh, can 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 make a huge difference in getting you to seven. And then you improve on one on one throw again, then the situation will be slightly different. But our wish has always been to get better than what we have achieved all these years. And the team is working tirelessly to make that possible. Uh, it is also very important to, to note and mention that uh, it's not only myself and, and Coach Rulani that have to make that a, a, a possibility a, a reality. We also have Steve Corbena who works with us. We, we are very happy together. We have Wendell Robinson who must make sure that those four top goalkeepers are always in top shape. And all these people have a big responsibility in making sure that we, we, we achieve our targets. And uh, we will always take each game as it comes because when we concentrate more on the final outcome, we might end up making ends meet on each and every match that you play week in and week out. So it is very important to concentrate in our own process and make sure that we achieve what is expected of us in those smaller matches, then we'll be able to get what we want at the end. Thank you. Thank you, Coach. I think you'll take the second one. It's about the traveling. The, traveling. Yeah. Yeah, the good thing is uh, the club is made of or consists of uh, people that have been in this space for quite some time, of course. The reality is uh, it's, a, it's a difficult challenge. It's a challenge of, of, of merging two very, very difficult programs, the club program and the international program. And then, of course, when you're populated by so many international stars, it becomes even more difficult. But uh, Sundowns has always had international stars. Sundowns has always had players living uh, on every international break to, to represent the, their individual countries and therefore Sundowns has the experience with the personnel like uh, Peter Tobu, Higesh Singh in the background who, who work extensively with regards to trying to ensure that we get individual itineraries from different uh, football associations and, and then we try to merge those not just from a logistical perspective but also in relation to, to the training dynamics in, in our preparation because what it then means is, is you have to look at the load of, 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 of the players over the last 10 days or so. And sometimes the load is a load that reflects uh, work that could, could have been done by, by coaches over three or four weeks. But the reality is you understand that at, at international level, coaches don't have time and therefore they try to maximize as much as they can with, uh, with the amount of days that they have in the training sessions that they can put out to prepare their teams. So that then becomes our responsibility in, in trying to not just get players that come back injury free, which is the number one and the most important thing. And unfortunately, again, we get Toby Bala coming back from, from Bafana with a, with a muscular constraint. Last time we had Tapelo. So we have to look at that space because uh, that already also puts us in a difficult position. But first is always to, to get the players back injury free. And then to make sure that we, we recover, regenerate, recoup uh, the players and get them in a, in a fresher state. And then work towards uh, ensuring that um, we prepare for the match. So it's, it's a, it's a three-step process. Uh, but as I said, it's a process that uh, involves so many people, including uh, the medical department that Coach Manova spoke about, uh, the conditioning department uh, that we have. And unfortunately for us, as I said, we have uh, people with relatively huge amounts of experience in that space to be able to manage these different programs. So, yeah, I don't, I don't, I don't know if I've, I've answered you, Tabi. Uh, I don't know if you're satisfied with, uh, with the answer. <laughs> Yeah, uh, okay. Uh, I think we're going to have to end it here unless any of the coaches has anything else to add, any parting thoughts. Then we'll end it here. All right. Thank you very much, members of the media, and uh, thank you for the key coaches. Uh, yeah.